Chromebook Upcycling. The purpose of these videos is to increase the useful lifespan of Chromebooks, keeping them out of landfills for as long as possible. In 2023, 61.3 million metric tons of electronics were disposed of, adding to the global total of 347 million metric tons of e-waste on Earth. While only 2% of all waste, e-waste comprises 70% of all toxic waste. Besides disposal, we have two other alternatives to deal with e-waste, recycling and reuse. Reuse uses less energy and can be accomplished by individuals. In this video, we are going to replace the Chromebook operating system with a standard Linux distribution, making it useful as a general purpose computer. This process is known to work on x86-64 based Chromebooks, including, but not limited to, the Acer C720, Acer CB715-1W, Dell Chromebook 11 3180, HP 11-V020WM, Lenovo N43, Lenovo 100E, and Samsung Chromebook 3. Known problems include key mapping and sound card drivers. Before we can install a new operating system, it is imperative to replace the UEFI firmware with Core Boot. This process requires 14 steps which we will cover in detail. Step 1. Deprovision the Chromebook if it is controlled by an organization such as a school. Since a network administrator completed this process in advance, we have no video to show you. Read the description for links to other videos demonstrating the process. Step 2. Open the Chromebook and remove the Write Protect screw, sometimes labeled WP or indicated with an arrow on the motherboard. The Write Protect screw hole will look different than the other screws holding in the motherboard. It will have a metallic circle that the screw will use to make an electrical connection, preventing the BIOS from being flashed. If you are unsure of the location of your Write Protect screw, use a Google image search of your Chromebook model to find it. Note, at this point, some Chromebooks will need the battery disconnected with the wall power plugged in. Reassemble the Chromebook, taking great care not to damage any ribbon cables connecting the keyboard and touchpad to the motherboard. It is very easy to damage the locking connector which holds the ribbon cable down and there are several types. Some pull forward while others flip up. If you are not sure how to detach or reattach the ribbon cable, watch a disassembly video for your specific Chromebook model. Step 3. Power wash the Chromebook by holding Control Alt, Shift, and R at the same time. Step 4. Have the Chromebook realize that it has been deprovisioned by booting normally and letting it connect to the internet. Give the Chromebook up to 15 minutes to realize that it has been deprovisioned. One of three outcomes will occur at this point. If there is a button in the corner allowing you to sign in as a guest, the Chromebook has been deprovisioned. This is the best outcome. Skip to step 5. If the Chromebook is connected to the internet but not unenrolling, turn OS verification on and off by pressing enter, then perform another power wash. If the Chromebook re-enrolls itself back into the organization after the power wash, contact the controlling entity to verify deprovisioning. Step 5. Shut off the Chromebook if it is on. Turn on the Chromebook by pressing escape, refresh, the circle arrow key, and the power button. Holding the keys down is not needed. Step 6. The Chrome OS recovery screen should appear with a yellow exclamation point. Press Ctrl D then enter to turn off OS verification. The Chromebook should reboot at this point. Step 7. After the Chromebook reboots, an OS verification warning screen will pop up. Press Ctrl plus D quickly to launch Chrome OS. If it says developer mode has been disabled, check to see if guest mode is available and stay in guest mode for about two to three minutes before trying to get into developer mode again. If it still says developer mode is disabled or you cannot get into guest mode, email the serial number to the controlling entity so they can release it from enterprise enrollment. Note that the serial number goes with the plastic panel covering the motherboard, so if the serial number is simply wrong, you'll have to flash the BIOS using hardware to continue. A link is in the description. Step 8. The Chromebook should say, preparing to transition into developer mode. Wait 5 minutes. Once the Chromebook reboots, press Ctrl D again. Step 9. 
Once at the login screen, log in as a guest, bottom left of the screen. Step 10. Press Ctrl plus Alt plus T to launch a terminal. A new tab labeled Crosh will appear. Step 11. Type Shell and press Enter. This will create a Bash Shell session. Step 12. Type the following commands listed in the description. cd semicolon curl minus lowercase k capital L capital O Mr. Chromebox dot tech slash firmware dash util dot sh. Note dash k l o are letters, lowercase k, capital L, and a capital O, not a zero. Now press enter and wait for the prompt to return. Next command sudo install minus capital D lowercase t slash usr slash local slash bin space minus lowercase m 755 space firmware dash util dot sh. Now press enter and wait for the prompt to return. Last command sudo firmware dash util dot sh. Step 13. Once the script opens, read the menu options carefully. It may contain up to nine different options. If WP appears in red, that means that the right protect screw has not been removed or the system has not realized that it has been removed. If you are lucky, you have mistakenly removed the wrong screw. Replace it and try again. Otherwise, you may have to manually flash the BIOS using hardware to continue. A link is in the description. It is likely that you will want to remove the Chrome OS bitmap stored in the ROM. Select that option and follow the prompts. If WP appears in green, look for the option Install slash Update UEFI Full ROM Firmware. If it is grayed out, then you may need to choose the option Set Hardware ID. Type the corresponding number and press Enter. Then press Y when prompted. At this point, Install slash Update UEFI Full ROM Firmware should be blue. Type the corresponding number and press Enter. Reasons to select UEFI at this point are to install Windows or utilize up to 255 primary partitions. However, Windows is likely too large to fit in the built-in eMMC of most Chromebooks, and UEFI provides little protection against malware today. To install a Linux distribution, I suggest selecting the Legacy Boot option by typing the corresponding number and pressing Enter. Overwrite the firmware. Press Y, Y, and N when prompted. This process will take a couple of minutes to complete. Step 14. Once the menu returns, restart the Chromebook by typing R and press Enter. The first boot takes a bit longer than the others. A white rabbit indicates success. Congratulations! You have successfully replaced the firmware in the BIOS and are ready to install an operating system.